going on and moving on. More Doki Doki Luge Club. <laughs> I just messed that up. All right. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh. Uh, something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C -c catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, uh, stagnating air is co common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Why are they saying such evil shit? In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is totally thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she was going to pee. Natsuki, please just show some decency. Come on! Uh, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously! Of all times not to go home with her, you picked a time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, and I didn't want to force anything. Oh... That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Monica, you're being really weird! Let's decide what everyone else is doing this weekend. My guy's being really weird, too! All four of them are fucking weird! I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need to crack my back. Scoliosis will not conquer me. Neither will dyslexia. But we might need a little, a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sorry will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, 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 Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I've never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell... Things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader of my own, then I guess I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should be able to make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focus at her desk and focus and starts nodding to herself your mind is already racing i see that's great you'll be a wonderful help yuri but anyway that just leaves you caribou the one who is truly useless <laughs> don't say that in fact both natsuki and yuri have plenty of heavy tasks to handle it would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand you could always help me out as well. It would really appreciate. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's is Monica suggesting I spend the the weekend with one of my club members. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind being a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica. It's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Now, Tsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like a hand, like to handle the banking on your own. Caribou may not like to be around if you, if you only make 
him out to be a nuisance. <laughs> so therefore, he might be more suited assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Caribou, too. But, but what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's Caribou. It's up to Caribou to decide who he wants to contribute. Uh, these girls are all depressed and needy and shit. It's, it's like it's like something. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm. I don't like this crap. All of a sudden, this game turned into fucking happy go lucky. From happy go lucky to just nervous energy. It's really weird. You literally just said that. I, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we settle this already? Yeah. Caribou, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. There's food for me downstairs. Should I take a break? Oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect timing. I'll be right back. This episode's not over. Obviously, it's just made six minutes in. But I'll be right back. I'm going to have a little bit of a lunch break, and then I'll be right back into it. A few moments later. Welcome back. Sorry. I took a little break. Got something to eat. I had to do a couple of things. Now I'm back. Hello. All right, so I had time to debate this decision. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to go with Natsuki, but I'm not going to because I've been doing everything with Natsuki because she is technically the one I would want to, you know, be around. As much as I hate that stereotype, for some reason I have some sort of fucking fascination with it. And get a boner every... No, I'm just kidding. That's, that, that's, I, that's a little too far. <laughs> I like them. I hate and I like them. But I'm not going to choose her. I was considering Yuri because we haven't started her attention. But I've just got no interest in her, personally. That's just me, though. Uh, she's a nice girl. Just no interest. Sayori. I don't know what the fuck to do with Sayori. She's so... I don't know what's going on with her. But I, I, I'm so curious why the fuck Monica's getting all dark and depressing on me, but... That's why I'm going with her, because I'm more intrigued in what the fuck's going on with her right now. So I guess you should probably help Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh, but... I agree with Natsuka. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but you're already... You already have Sayori as well. But Caribou was the one who... Uh... That does not... That doesn't matter. You are the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with the alternative motives. Excuse me? Oh, this is so ridiculous. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. No, you're thinking of your freaking... I'm not gonna go that far. I want to, but I'm not going to. If we think if we want our e event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. <sighs> you just want a human dildo. Um uh so are you gonna do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for Caribou to help one of you two. So I guess that's what we'll do. That was really mean. I don't know how to feel 
fail after that. That was really... I, I guess that's true. Well, they're, they're not saying anything that's false, but... <sighs> Sayori's all depressed and shit. I'm considering her. I'm probably gonna click Sayori. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What if, if I play Sayori, where some bad shit happen? She's all dark and depressing too. Natsuki, Yuri. I was, I had, I had made a decision, and then they destroyed that decision. I don't know what to do. Sayori. I mean. If it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said, Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No, no, no. Sorry, I didn't mean to make this till dip. Oh, duh. Am I stupid? <laughs> Shit. I was fifty-fifty. It's an easy choice. Well, baking sounds like it would be fun. I know I've ignored her the entire time, but I generally just don't have any interest in this character. As, as cute and innocent she is, I don't know. I just don't have interest in her. And you made it sound like it would sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Uh, just a minute ago you were saying that. That's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. God damn it! This game is mean! This game is super mean. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not to feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything is, except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Caribou? Me? I guess I could say I'm interested to see things, how things turn out. I am. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might be feeling a little bit underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do. And then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... <sighs> Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a little worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulder. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And you, you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little bit more credit. Natsuki releases her hand and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she's pro she tried to say something Sayori would say at, at, at times like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it really great, a great event. I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? God dang it. What? Oops. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't ha have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. <clears throat> Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm going to give you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping you, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Uh, like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad, I couldn't have a guy at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need needed to complain for a second. We have each other's number now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah, I'm going to show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh, didn't you say you were going to give me... Just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like it... It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of! Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out tomorrow. I'll be heading out now, I should say. See you on Sunday! Uh, never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be home, going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handing, handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel so nervous that Sayori's... That's the only we'll find out about this because you have some sort of weird feelings about it. It's not like we feel that way towards each other. Jesus Christ. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the, cult, the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. That's what they say now. It's already Sunday. I, I can't look inside my house, can I? I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she's act, she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different has a different personality on the phone. She's use, using tons of cute emoji and cute language. She also likes complaining about things, but I, I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside. I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? <coughs> I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki came over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we have made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. The house is... This is making me nervous. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on, anywhere on the floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Holy shit, that's creepy. Um, hi, Caribou. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is, a me is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... 
Wait, how would you know about that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided that, that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival's preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. Well, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, oh, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sarah so stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is rather uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori's smiling, shaking her head. That's no good, Caribou. Eh? Why can't it be just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then wouldn't you have been worried about me at all? You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even think be thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. I just want... It just wants to torture me. Jesus, man. This is... This is really sad. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, uh -huh -huh -huh. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Caribou. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. That's sad. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Garibu? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh. Oh, no. <sighs> this game's gonna get to the get to the root of things. Cheers. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Fuck. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? She has a mix of happy and dark thoughts, buddy. It's not too left field. Did she really want? Did she really want so badly for me not just not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Uh, why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Caribou. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you then you would have waste you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. That's so fucking sad. That's not true, man. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. I'm telling you, man. Depressed people... I'll, I'll talk more about it at the end of this episode, but jeez. 
Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. Jeez. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Savory. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you to stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Caribou. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us is if everyone could be like it always. If everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears stripped down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. <sighs> you, you absolutely don't. If anything, it's the opposite. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I pulled her into a tight embrace. Uh, Caribou. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never under underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Caribou. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori remains at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Oh my goodness, Caribou. I... Sayori, Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need to need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Caribou. The only time I need... I, if. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like it? like for me to spend it all with you. Uh, um, uh, is, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. N no, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along, come along and hang out, help out? It would be fun. To my support, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be really good of me today. Good for me today. All right. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. That got real, real quick. The, the, I don't care what anybody says, depression is a real thing. And just know if you're going through that, I've gone through it before. It's, unimaginable but you have to understand at the end of the day that there are people out there that do care about you it may not feel like it but there are and it's a struggle getting through it but there are definitely ways to get through it 
So hang in there. I'll continue on. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still very uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is around, but about is about to come over. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I'm starting to get really fucking nervous about this game. I'm starting to get really nervous after that. I only spent a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I knew it, she texted me let, to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I opened the front door to let her in. So, Hey. <clears throat> I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez. Don't make, it fit, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Matsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I don't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at my house. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky that, like usual, like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not going to offer me to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, caribou? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Blech. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Uh, um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to teach you. Uh, ha, 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 ha. What? That's a little bit more like you. <laughs> You're more fun when you get to speak your mind like that. Hey, now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little bit nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri, doesn't mean you should treat me like... That doesn't fucking matter. Ah! Natsuki cratches her words and her face turns red. Oh my goodness. Natsuki! Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Uh, I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have just been a little bit more considerate too. But also... If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just treat, treat me on this one. Just trust me on this one. Ha! Ah! Two different words totally. Completely different words. Gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Caribou. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decided to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. 
spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and uh, plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her baking. Caribou, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's on the, in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Aw, oh, that's a cute idea. It really is, actually. Uh, we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what you... Yeah, just, just say you want to. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into small bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking isn't about following is just following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million more times more worth it in the end. If just look if in the end, if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Okay. Like the ones you made on the first day, huh? I recall Natsuki probably presenting her cat shaped cupcakes. And Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food color. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. <clears throat> eh? The icing's still all lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just takes a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Grabs the whisk for me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it! After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger into the icing and pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly do start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. I push harder and just enough to, for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop someone with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulls me, causes me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Uh, she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this! Natsuki insists, wipes it on her... Instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Oh, god dang it. Where is this going? <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I, I probably shouldn't do this either. If Natsuki... I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth licking off the ice cream. The ice... Why are you doing that? What? Did you seriously just... Uh, uh... Natsuki is so surprised that she... She can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Caribou? You really shouldn't do that thing to a kind of girl unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me like that? Why did you just stick your finger? 
Why did you just stick her finger in your mouth, dude? You weirdo. How did the mood turn so quickly? You stuck her feet. You stuck her finger in your mouth. That's how it turned so quickly, you weirdo. I Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow bre breasts. Breaths, not breasts. Why am I saying starting to feel dizzy? Ah. <laughs> I don't know where the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah! The tension from the moments before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch Natsuki slide the cupcakes trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sm sweet smelling... Warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each one of the each of the trays. Yeah, they'll look even better once we add the icing. Don't like you, not like you need to, not like you need to tell me that. Dyslexia will conquer you. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoot the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. You probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this, on th what's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That's one. Th that one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can you also use it to write stuff on on a, on a cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Huh? I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on the word they like. Uh. uh um. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I am getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on! We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, 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 nothing! Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and, and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about it, but think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows how to apply the icing, and then we, work, we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. But there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see the harm in it. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Oh, <laughs> so you're always the exact opposite in that regard. If she were here, she'd probably down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I c of it as I can. Is she getting abused? Well, anyway. I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Uh, alrighty. That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? 
If you and Sayori each carry some, then you probably could do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any of them. <laughs> I wish she... I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I, I again think about... I think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always doesn't listen to me, but at least... But at that point, I felt like she w couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Now I'm worried that the, this, is, this isn't recording, right? Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already ready to leave. It felt like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. She showed me how to how you showed me how much fun baking can be. Like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Kiribu, I thought you only cared about cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you do. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Oh, shit. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches away from me, Natsuki looks up to me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eye fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. Oh, crap. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel soft breasts against me. I felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Eh? Ah, uh, hi, Caribou. Sayori, just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Caribou. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly frustrated, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Oh boy! That was really stupid of that guy. Not me. I'm not caribou. <coughs> stupid man. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Caribou? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does my why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much easier if I could just disappear. Say Ori, don't say that. It's true, Caribou. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put it up put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Holy shit! I fucked! 
fucking knew it. Monica, you bitch. Monica. Monica was right about what? She's evil as shit. Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden you mind. It's making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you feel you don't feel any more pain. But, but, see how he looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, scared, boo. I'm really scared. What are you so scared of, Sayori? I'm scared of that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori, is it true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Caribou, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and that's not enough, Sayori. I mean, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordly Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. <laughs> it's time. See, this is my problem. See, here's a here's the problem with games like these and the decision they make you make in the in the long run. They guilt you into so many different things and they make you feel a certain different way. But you also got to think about the character behind the screen. You got to think about Caribou at this point as well. You can't think about say or you can't just say that if that's not what you 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 are taking the place as this character. So however you feel in this certain situation, that's how you feel, right? But then again, if I say that, what will happen? See, the, the, the me and me, what I want to do is I want to say I love you, right? That way that she gets kind of off my back. But that's not the right way to go about this, right? That isn't the right way to going about this. Because you got to think about the character behind it. I don't know what's gonna happen if I say I'll always be my dearest friend. That's so fucked that they always put you in this situation, but and you think about it, let's Let's take this. this game's, these games are supposed to bring you out of the real world into this world that is make-believe. And you're play, taking the place of this character. It's allowed to say whatever he's supposed to say. Sometimes. So, if I was this character and I was put into the situation, I would have to be honest with her. But will honesty be the right thing in this situation? That's my problem. Because here's the thing. These games often allow you to make rather different different choices of being able to be like, I love this girl, this girl, and this girl. And then there's conflict in the end. It's not reality. You can't feel a certain way about somebody. You have to be honest. Even if it hurts. But the problem is she hurts a lot. And she's depressed and she's hurt. How do you handle the situation like that? You, there's no real easy way to handle it besides to be honest. And my honesty goes with you're always be my dearest friend. I don't want her to hurt herself. 
That's not where this game's going, right? Because that'd be way too dark and depressing. Alright, you'll always be my dearest friend. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most in this is for things to be like they always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back. What the hell is this thing always acting up? My microphones are so weird. I'll help to get things back to the way they were. I... I see. So already forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? <laughs> Alright. I should write a poem about this. Sayori! It's okay. This just this is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there was no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I can get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just wanted to, wanted to go back the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone. This really fucking hurts, man. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sayori finally, Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. I'm not going to scream that loud, but let's just say that that's what happened. Ah! Clutching her head with her both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because you probably should. It's not an easy thing to make a decision like that. There's nothing more that I could have done. You could have probably said I love you, but... The most I can do is support Sarah through her feelings and help her on the right, on the path that's right. But I'm having so much trouble understanding Sarah's feelings as she is. She just fucking loves you. Even though I can't comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. Keep chasing her. Stop standing around. I know these things will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile back on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Alright, well, this is the ending of this episode. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. This is not easy. This is getting way harder. But, um, it's the whole point, right? I had to make a difficult decision there. What I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to see how this ends. And if, some, if something happens that I don't like, I'm just going to have to go back and replay it. It's the final day. I have that spot saved, right? Yep, I have it saved. That's good. Uh, let me just make a new save spot, maybe right here. And then we will continue this in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace off.